Hey, how's it going? Well, I'm making some progress on my locomotive project, so if you have a second, stick around. I'm underway in this project to convert my electric locomotive chassis from a diesel Alco S2 type engine over to a little 040 steam engine, a little tank engine. And these were not so much used by railroads as they were by mining companies and, and other industries. Very small engines, and they were not designed to pull a tender, so they had typically a tank that wrapped around the boiler to carry the water, and then they would stuff some fuel into the cab. So let's just take a look at some of the details on this. This would be the main boiler shaft here, running all the way back. And I made this out of a 10-inch diameter sauna tube, which was a, a form for pouring concrete. And then here I wrapped it in galvanized steel. And this is the water tank that goes on top of the boiler. And this again was a frame that I made um, some ribs and then it's coated with this galvanized. Here's the main uh, smokestack. Here's the little cab. Sitting on top of this tank will be a sand dome. It will be a little cylinder where the sand would be located. There'll be a tube running down to where the sand could be sprayed down where the wheels meet the rail for additional traction. Back in here would be the actual steam dome and that's where the steam would be collected and then routed down into the cylinders here. The exhaust from the cylinders goes up through this part of the boiler cavity which was called the smoke box. There, there was no real steam in here except for the exhaust on these cylinders. And the firebox would be back under here and that's where, like your barbecue, they would build the fire and there was a jacket around that that was surrounded by water that would get hot and they would capture the steam. But the smoke from the fire, the exhaust, from the cylinders would all come out of the main stack here. I'm simulating the steam action because obviously this is an electric engine. So the two axles uh, will be driven, chain driven, as you saw in the last video. And then this connecting rod and piston and counterweight mechanism is basically there for show, uh, just to give a little animation to it. And again, this is kind of playful a little whimsical, but hey, this hobby is all about fun, right? I really enjoy building this sort of thing as well as running it on the railroad. One peculiarity of this particular project is that I have to transport this in my truck and I want to be able to use the cover on the truck bed. So in order for that to happen, everything above this height here has to be removable. So let me show you that. So this is what it looks like when it has to be fit inside of the truck. This is a raisable and lowerable rack that I made for. It's a hydraulic lift so I can get this thing up to the height of the bed of the truck and shoot it in that way. I'm just getting started and there are a lot of details to be worked out. One of the big things I have to figure out now is the control mechanism. This was originally set up to run on this tether where I have speed control and direction and lights and horn and all this other stuff. But I'm not going to do that on this build. I'm going to build those controls into the cab, very similar to how they would have been done on the actual steam engine itself. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next update.